Hey now, Libra. This is Jenna Flower from Abundance Amplified Tarot and more. Let's look at what we've got going on for you. This is an energy check-in reading. Please make sure to check the description out. Uh, there's some free downloads and some ebooks, things like that you might be interested in. Also, please remember if you resonate with this, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get these messages out to the folks that need them. So, Libra. Right off the bat here, we have leap. You go first and the universe will catch you, okay? We have a six of wands coming in here. Forgive the glare. Wow. Nine of pentacles and a ten of swords. Okay. So I feel like you folks are have, have been having some really good luck lately, Okay, and when I say luck, I mean that that means that you have presented the atmosphere around you that accelerates um, things, good things coming into you. Okay, um, I feel like you have done the work for this and you are definitely benefiting here um, in your present position with that nine of pentacles coming in. It looks to me, oh, I'm trying to get rid of that glare. There you go. It looks to me that um, you guys are feeling really overburdened, okay? Really, really overburdened here. Um, and what I see as a possibility here is a big time burnout, okay? Or because you're working so hard, it's hard to keep everything together. And there might be something coming in that you don't expect um, that's going to be either triggering from something from the past here, or um, it's, it's just like this energy of, I didn't keep this all together. I didn't see this coming. Like, oh my gosh, I have to deal with this now. Okay. And that in itself can be devastating, right? <laughs> to some extent. So um, let's keep going here and let's see what else is coming in for you. Okay. I have this Ace of Swords, okay? Um, the clarity that you're going to need, notice how that brings it up to an 11, right? 10 to an 11. Whatever is happening in the unexpected position here, whatever is coming in for you that you did not expect, know that the clarity is going to be given to you and it's gonna come in rather quickly for you, okay? So understand whatever bump in the road is coming in soon right you're going to be given the clarity here and this is judgment okay um that's why i feel like it's something coming out of the past maybe you find out something that you thought you knew that was correct and it ends up not being what you thought okay um some of you i feel like maybe um you thought a certain person was doing something or had done something and all of a sudden you find out really the reality was what it wasn't them and maybe it was somebody else, right? One of those scenarios. Or um, you get that vital piece of information that is like a game changer and changes your whole perspective here. Wow, you've got keeper vessels coming out with this and the nurturer. So I think what's happening, these are major arcana cards here. This clarity that you're going to get, okay, is going to give you the understanding to actually, I feel like you're going to have the whole picture now, okay? And this is going to help you moving forward here. In fact, this might either bless you or bless somebody else in the process because that nurture card that you have coming out there, that is like the empress, right? This is going to help you to understand something that is, this is going to be pivotal, like life-changing understanding here. All right, let's get some clarification here. All right, when I ask about that Ten of Swords, I get the Wheel of Fortune. Whoop. I get this Four of Swords. And then I get the Chariot. Okay, so there, this... Maybe somebody gave you an opportunity and someone else said something negative about it or something like that and it kind of derailed derailed it and it like blew your mind about what you thought was really going on, right? And then all of a sudden you get the clarity. Maybe it was the person that said that to you. 
that set it for like egoic reasons or something like that. And all of a sudden you get this clarity and um, you're going to realize that, you know, this clarity you're getting is built on a solid foundation. Okay. It's not just emotional. It's not coming from ego. It's not coming from people that are trying to bad talk other people, things like that. And it's going to help you move forward in a balanced way. And this is why, okay, this is so important because with this empress here, there might've been a lost opportunity. Okay. That is going to be coming back around for you. Let's ask specifically on this nurture card here. Yeah. This is about celebrations here. Okay, whatever you're finding out, again, it's going to give you some kind of new perspective that is going to create a celebration here. Okay, um, I've got two of summer. Falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone. Forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't get up. Your relationship can be healed. Yeah, I felt in the beginning that this had to do with um, a party or a person. Okay, so uh, either a group of people or a person and um there's healing here um and i i hear like why is this taking so long right okay i have the knight of pentacles and the ace of wands i'm gonna get one more card thank you actually they gave me two okay so let me tell you why this has been taking so long okay is that both parties that are involved in this, everybody that was involved in this needed this for a lesson, okay? To be able to move forward with a clear conscience, to be able to move forward in a way that is blessing to everyone. Like, um, uh, if somebody, if some of you were trying to work with somebody and it didn't work out, all of the sudden, this new knowledge, this, this, this clarity on what the actual deception or betrayal or something like that was, is going to then solidify you guys working together, right? Because you're going to realize that this was just a messed up thing. And maybe it was, you know, divine timing is what I'm hearing too. This is going to lead to a blessing here. We've got this ace of wands. This is going to lead to working with somebody. And I'm going to tell you right now that it had a lot to do with the fact that people were stuck in some kind of dogma or, you know, um, it has to do with people maturing now. Like people weren't ready before. So on a good note, had you done this before, right, it might not have worked out as well as it's going to now because people were just not mature enough. We've got the teacher coming out. You would do well to read more and otherwise learn about those who have worked diligently to attain Okay, what you seek, what you seek and succeeded. Okay, so this was about people learning these lessons, people learning about themselves, how they deal with things. Maybe, um, maybe the maybe the person that said the thing needs to understand that they they can't do that to people. Maybe the person that heard it that made a judgment call or got sucked into that has to learn that they have to be more discerning from who they get the information from or that they have to make their own decisions and stand on their own two feet. And the person that maybe lost out on it has to understand that maybe they need to stand up and, and for themselves or they need to be more organized in how they're presenting things. So there is no opportunity, no loophole for somebody to come in and derail it, right? So this is what I'm getting for you. Um, I'm going to just ask here. This is really interesting. Very convoluted, Libra. Okay, but I think moving forward, you know, this is just like, this is some of the stuff you learn like when you're growing up and working with people, right? This is things we learn. Yeah, I've got letting go. Okay. And I've got stripping away the illusions. You know, bottom line is we are all responsible for our actions, right? Our decisions. Um, if you have wronged somebody, you go out and you tell them and you say, Hey, I'm really sorry. Or, you know, um, I didn't understand or I misunderstood. You know what I mean? It, it's about learning how to do things in the right way. Okay. And this is what this process has been trying to tell you here. Let me grab one more deck and let's find out 
after this is healed here, what are we looking at? I'm going to ask about that celebration card. Wow. Can't make it up, guys. We've got the High Priestess. Some of you knew this all along. You knew something was weird about this and you didn't take the time. Yeah, Emperor. You did not take the time to ask the question. There was like a, one of those, uh, the large Oracle cards has like, listen, what's the niggle trying to tell you? Some of you knew this and it was easier just not to think about it. Okay, it was easier just not to think about it. I think there are going to be celebrations. I think that you and this, these people are going to be coming back together at some point, possibly in renewing this or looking to possibly make the decision to do that. Okay, there's going to be an opening here for you. Um, I've got the seven of materials. This was all about growth. Okay, and I feel like whatever this was caused everybody to lose. Okay, it caused everybody to lose out on something here. And you're going to have possibly the opportunity to change that. Let me ask again. Let's see. Yeah, and I can tell you, when you guys start to do this again, it's going to cause conflict and drama again. And it's going to be about how are you going to handle it this time. Okay, how are you going to handle it this time? All right, this was all about learning how to manage the emotions here. Okay. Yeah, you guys are going to have a decision as to whether you want to move forward with this. It's about reconciling, speaking your truth. Wow. Okay. I really feel like if you do come back together, the world is going to be at your feet. We've got the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Inspiration again. Okay. We also have the Hierophant coming out again. So the cards are repeating here. Okay. Where do you fit? You use the mature discerning now, right? Maybe you want to get back involved with that person, but it looks different, right? Nothing's written in stone. Um, Maybe you do a different type of partnership. Like I'm hearing percentages, right? Um, I feel like some of you have been really stifled too. Like you've, you've been putting on these restrictions. That's why this Hierophant keeps coming out here. Okay? Your restrictions had led to this tower moment. It was, it, and I'm, it was like mental restrictions here. Okay? And you're missing out. Okay, you're losing out on things by keeping that rigidity. All right, this should be celebrations. This should be money all around here. Okay. All right, so I've got a three, a five, another three. <laughs> I've done it. Yeah, this is not going to be, if you move forward, it's not going to be the work that you think. I, I'm hearing like the work is already done. I've got this empress coming out here. Okay, the work is already done. All right, this there this is going to lead to definite celebrations here. Okay, but again, you have to understand. You have to understand. It's it's if it comes up again, you have to understand how to deal with the drama and the obstacles, and it's about discovery. It's about willing to being willing to take that to make that choice and do it in a different way. Okay. Uh, for some of you, this could be a relationship. Some of you, I really feeling like it's a business thing or some kind of like soul tribe thing. I'm going to ask here. Okay. Lots of ones in reverse here. Okay. So, I've got the Six of Cups coming out, all right? You guys were in a very balanced place. It was really flowing. This was given, notice the cup coming in, right? This was given to you as a chance to really do a good thing here, okay? To make that choice, move forward, right? And have celebrations, and that didn't happen. And it was all about not being able to balance the emotions. You guys were doing too much. You were burned out. You weren't taking the time. You were listening to other people rather than listening to your own self. And the way to get through this, okay, is to understand that 
you know, you need to come in with love. Yes, you have to have boundaries here. Okay, but these are healthy boundaries. This is logic, but you also have to come in with grace and with love and understand that you are the magician here. Okay, it's a period of discovery. It's new. That's why it feels this way. Maybe that's why you went back to, um, you know, some of the familiar people or some of the familiar habits or some of the familiar mindsets, but this is all new now. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful for you. Please take good care of yourselves. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take good care of each other. And as always, be kind out there.